So well done, you are now a third of the way through your A-level physics exams in 2024. Uh, what can we learn from paper one and how does it impact paper two? Now this video is really relevant for anybody doing Edexcel, AQA or OCR. Um, I must say like my other video, I cannot make predictions about what exactly might come up in the exam. But actually looking at paper one and the feedback I've had from students and from teachers, Generally, students who did Edexcel found the paper really straightforward, uh, and actually everybody seemed to be, or, or most people seemed to be fairly happy with it. The big news is that AQA was a lot better than 2023. The questions are much more straightforward. And although uh, I think there was a mechanics question that many students found a bit tricky, overall the AQA paper was pretty fair and you know back in line with how it used to be back in 2022 and 21 and so on. So um, I do think that uh, you know AQA have had a look at this, they've, they've really listened to the teacher feedback after the 2023 exams and I do think that going forward paper 2 and paper 3A and uh, you know the second part of paper 3 I think that's going to be much more in line with previous years. I don't see it getting really really hard again. Um, I think the most of the feedback I had this year was about the OCRA paper. I've actually got a copy of it here. Um, I think there are a couple of things with this. Uh, first of all, some people got thrown by the fact that there is a tiny mistake in the paper. Now this notice went out to the exam centres and basically um, the row where it should have had 1.27 was 1.37, but actually that detail didn't really have a big effect on the actual question. Uh, I think some people maybe got a little bit thrown at the start, but generally, even though the exam paper has been checked many, many times, occasionally tiny, often insignificant errors do come through. And if they're seen, then you will be notified that either before the exam starts or during the exam if it's noticed at that point. Um, but, you know, generally that's not going to affect people. And also, having written many practice papers myself, it's so hard, and also written books and things, um, it's so hard to spot every single mistake, even though lots of people might check it. I think the biggest issue that people found, um, and I've had a look at the paper, I'm not gonna show it to you uh, on this video, but I think that the biggest issue people found was that a, a lot of questions for the OCR paper seemed to be quite wordy. They were quite long. Um, and actually, I, I just I looked at the, the information. This year, there were actually 26 pages of questions in the 2024 paper, but actually, that wasn't really that different to other years. So uh, back last year in 2023, there were actually 29 pages of questions. So the exam, exam paper wasn't actually longer than previous years. But I think that some of the questions, especially the multiple choice, were quite wordy. And my advice is as you're going into maybe do other exams in the future and you've got your multiple choice questions, if you see a question that takes lots and lots of reading, then maybe just circle that and move on and actually do the next question, which is often a bit shorter, and then come back to these longer wordy questions towards the end of the exam when you've got a bit more time and you know you've got the time to look into those. Um, I would say as well that, um, yeah, some of the questions, it's not that they were particularly tricky, but there was just a lot of information that you had to try and compute within the kind of confines of the exam. So although the actual physics was all fairly straightforward, I think a lot of them took a long time to actually understand what the question was asking. But there was also some beautiful questions in there. And don't forget that although there were some tricky parts, there are some really good questions given to you. One of them was just a six marker on how to, um, you just had to answer how you would find the wavelength of light using a diffraction grating. I mean, that question is beautiful. It's something you probably will have done in class. You'll have had a go at the method beforehand. So my advice is as you're going to paper two, don't forget about the practical work that you have done. And there might well be questions which get everybody lots and lots of marks. You know, what is the method for doing this experiment, the standard experiment using standard equipment? So even though there might be some difficult questions that everybody concentrates on and remembers after the exam, there are still going to be many, many questions which are just given to you where everybody should know the answer. And it's stuff that you will have revised. So my prediction is that uh, paper two um, is going to be fairly similar to paper one in terms of difficulty. I think that OCRA had a harder paper one, so I think paper two might be slightly easier. Um, I think Edexcel paper two might be more difficult than paper one. 
But generally, if it's a difficult or an easy paper, that all gets rectified when the grade boundaries are set. And they only know that after the exam and everybody sat it. So yeah, um, basically, uh, I hope all of you do really well in physics paper two. Uh, as you're doing your last minute revision, of course, I've got stuff to help you. I've got live streams on YouTube almost every day. I've got a website, alevelphysicsonline.com. And also, as you prepare for paper three, uh, I've got some extra uh, questions about the experimental skills, and you can find those at my shop. So yeah, I uh, hope it all goes well for everybody, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you.